Convicted killer William Morva has been sentenced to death. A Virginia judge imposed the jury's recommended sentence for the jail escapee who killed a hospital guard and a sheriff's deputy, setting off a lockdown at Virginia Tech University months before the deadly campus shooting that happened there. At Morva's sentencing on Monday, defense attorney Thomas Blaylock pleaded for mercy. Then Morva made a statement. My attorney is a, I mean, he just did a good job of trying to ask you for mercy and things of that nature. I don't ask for that. Because to be quite honest, I think that there are very few people in this whole courtroom who even know what that word means. That prompted an angry outburst from the wife of one of his victims who shouted that Morva showed no mercy when killing her husband. I can't fight. There's nothing more I can do. But there are others like him. And I hope you know that. And soon they're going to get together. They're going to sweep over your whole civilization and they're going to wipe these smiles off of your faces forever. Morva overpowered a sheriff's deputy at a hospital where he had been taken for treatment in August 2006, and he used the deputy's pistol to shoot a security guard. Then a day later, he shot a sheriff's deputy near the Virginia Tech campus. Judge Ray Grubbs set the execution date for October 21st, but Morva has an automatic appeal. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.